When I had a conversation like this with Senator Chuck Hagel, he said the first objective of the next administration is to fight global poverty. How should the next president do that? I mean, haven't we been trying to do that for multiple presidencies and generations now? What you really have to do is affect institutions of government around the world. So we were talking about what are we going to do to help provide and show people how to use the drugs that pre prevent uh, pandemics? What are we going to do to help people develop more food? You know, do I want to teach you to fish or I want to give you a fish? I want to teach you to fish. We've got to help on basic job training and education. We have to help on issues of showing people how they can have an orderly society that can participate in the global trading system. And I think Chuck's right. You have to do everything you can to eliminate poverty, but you can't eliminate poverty by writing a check. You have to eliminate poverty by giving people the means of making a living, moving themselves into a better uh, standard of health and economic well-being by where do I get my job, how do I participate in this global economic largess. And that's the opportunity of the next administration and the next and the next. And if this next administration said to you, show me a couple things that you think work, things we should do. Give me some for instances. I think what the Gates Foundation has done on inoculations around the world has been extraordinary. I think what the, the global community has done to eliminate blindness in Africa from the water has been very, very important. I think what people are doing around the world to try and significantly reduce the, the deaths of, uh, of, of infants is very significant. I think what we're doing around the world to show people how to get fresh water is very important. But the next thing we have to do around the world is take 150 nations that are now in the WTO, engage them in a global trading system so they have some place to sell their goods, some place to draw on for expertise and investment, and some hope for the future. And if some business come, person comes up to you or some, but some American worker and says, why are you spending all your time talking about all this global stuff? I got a business here. We're under siege from all these other places. I'm just trying to survive. What do you say? I say, look, your future is in a global economy. 95% of the people that your product may get to or your service may get to are somewhere else. Until you get into the, in the middle class, you're not going to buy a lot of American products. The more middle classes that we help create around the world, the more American products we're going to sell. We're the largest exporters in the world by a significant factor. And we need to capitalize on that. And what we ought to be exporting is not only our products, but our goodwill and our values. And we ought not be saying to people, you have to be a democracy, you have to, but you have to be people that participate in a free trade system and treat your own folks and others uh, as you'd like to be treated.